the Psalms are awesome, impassioned, magnificent, vivid, full of life and concrete. They are rich in images, metaphors, and similes. They are full of hope. And though all of them are great, in my opinion, Psalms 91 tops them all. When we feel weak, we need something else to make us strong again. The Bible tells us that the Holy Spirit helps us in our weaknesses. Also, it helps us in our times of need. For we do not know what we should pray for as we ought, but the Spirit himself makes intercession for us with groanings which cannot be uttered. Romans 8, 26 God's word is filled with the Spirit and with power, and that is why I encourage you to use it to pray, especially the book of Psalms. During trials and tribulations, it is a powerful book to lean on. You can literally just read it out as a prayer to God, or you can use inspiration from it to pray in your own way. God honors his word more than sacrifice and is always faithful to do what it says. That is why praying with Psalms like Psalm 91 is one of the most effective ways to pray so that we can receive answers from God. For me, I like to get prayer points from these chapters and they work wonders. Indeed, the word of God is life. Let us try to always keep prayer simple by not complicating it with lots of vocabulary which may end up sounding as though we are rambling. So as you enter this new month, go on and use this psalm as a prayer to bless your month and to claim your victory for this month in Jesus' mighty name. This psalm is filled with divine words of God's power and his divine protection. The promises of God to those who trust and love him make this a beautiful prayer that we can use in difficult times and for blessings as we enter and usher in a new month. Feel free to pray this prayer at any other time when you see this video because things of God never go irrelevant. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you that you have always been my refuge, my fortress and my strength in times of trouble. This new month and every day, I choose to stay in the shadow of the Almighty where I can grow an intimate relationship with you. I choose to put my trust in you, Lord, for you remain faithful, kind, and loving to me. Show me more of your mercy, your favor, and forgiveness this month, even when I feel like I don't deserve it. Cover me and my family with your feathers and protect us from the snares of the devil. Even though the enemy comes to kill, steal, and destroy, me and my family will be safe in you, and we shall find abundant life and deliverance under your mighty wings. Jehovah God, as I start this new month, whether it's at night or during the day, I will not be afraid of the terror and the danger that may come my way, because your tender mercies, your loving kindness, and your perfect love, they drive out all my fears. Lord, I am confident that those that want to attack me and my family, you shall deal with them yourself. My loving Father, I have faith in your word, which says that you will protect me from the plagues, the diseases, and all evil. Thank you for sending angels to watch over me. I am humbled by your kindness towards me and everything you do to keep me safe. The name of Jesus Christ has mighty power. And I hereby call upon that power right now to go with me into the new month and protect me against any evil and any danger that may want to come upon me and my family, which by extension my family being all the Beyond Victory Saints. Father, you know each and every one of them by name. I love you, Father, and I choose to draw near to you and abide in you. You have promised that if I trust in you, you will give me salvation, satisfaction, and long life. I choose to hold on to your truth and promises. My dear Father, you have also promised that even if a thousand may fall by my side and ten thousand on my right hand, they will not harm me because your presence will be with me to deliver me. I pray that I will dwell in the shelter of the Most High this month, next month, and every day of my life. May I experience the peace that surpasses all understanding as I learn to trust in you and your promises. Thank you for hearing me and answering my prayers. In Jesus' mighty name, Amen.
To donate to this ministry, please check in the description box to get details and we shall indeed be grateful. And if you have any prayer requests, feel free to leave them in the comment section below and we shall present them to God for intervention. Let us continue praying for each other saints. If you have found value in this video, please give it a thumbs up. And for those who have not subscribed as yet, kindly take this opportunity to hit the subscribe button and don't forget to turn on the notifications so that you are notified each time I upload a new video. I love and appreciate you all. Until we meet again in the next video, may the good God mightily bless all of you and keep you. In Jesus' mighty name, Amen.